You're watching David Graham's Sports Report. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this new sports report brought to you by AM Electrical Services, Southern Contractors, Your Welcome Massage Therapy, and Honey Bee Video Transfer. Our top story, our Cougars filed the Gibbs 34-27. After moving the ball downfield all first half, we had to play a second half, and there was your trouble. First quarter at the 839 mark, Camel County High School scored. Addington to Karan Williams for the score. Kick was good, 7-0 Cougars. At the 457 mark of the first quarter, Camel County scored on a 71-yard TD pass from Landon Addington to Christian Schaus. Kick was good. 14-0 Cougars. Everything was going smoothingly, swimmingly, wonderful. In the second quarter, 10-17 mark, Camel County High School 15-yard TD pass to Christian Schaus. Kick was no good. That's okay. 20-0 Cougars. At the 8:37 mark, Gibbs had a 47-yard TD run. The kick was no good. 20-6 Cougars. At the 5:17 mark, Drew Jordan ran it in from three yards out. But the big play was Devlin Dukes, who caught a pass all and ran it all the way down to the Gibbs three. Kick was good, 27 to six. At the 54 second mark of the second quarter, Gibbs had a one yard TD run. The kick was good, so your halftime score was Camel County 27, Gibbs 13. The start of the second half, we kicked off to the Eagles. When our, that's when our downfall began. We couldn't stop the run. We knew they were going to run. The fans knew they were going to run. Everyone knew they were going to run, but still, we couldn't stop them. At the 7.25 mark of the second half, third quarter, Gibbs, right to Gaylor, caught a 21-yard TD pass, 27-20 Cougars. Now they were coming closer. Right here is where we stopped. Our offense was clicking. We were moving the ball downfield at will against the Eagles defense. Our offense was moving the ball until Landon Addington ran the ball up the middle, almost fumbled, and came up lame. He limped to the sidelines and never came back into the game, and we seemed to lose what steam we had in our offense. Drew Jordan scooted over to play quarterback, but everyone knew it was Drew right, left, and up the middle, but they knew he was not going to pass the ball, which made it easy for their defense. Joseph Paul came in later, but he was not as effective as, obviously, our starting quarterback, Landon Addington. Riley Wallace tried a 25-yard field goal, but it was off, and that seemed to be the ball game. They tied the game up at 27-all, then went on to take the lead on a 25-yard run as Humphreys ran it in. They took a 34-27 lead and never looked back. Ball game. The only good thing about this is Justin Price has a week to get another quarterback ready as we have an open date this coming Friday, and it's a good thing. And they will try to get one ready by the 27th, and I know they will, as the Cougars will travel to Powell, and they will not be sympathetic to our plight. As a matter of fact, no team is going to display any sympathy, so we better get ready, and we will. It's not like they don't have options, because they do. You know, over the years, I feel I know Justin Price. This was a very painful loss, to say the least, but if I know Justin like I think I know Justin, he will come up with a solid plan. The boys will respond, because if I know one thing is this, a wounded cougar is a dangerous cougar. Tired of your contractor giving you the runaround? Better call Kevin. Call Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors. The only running they do is to get the job done in time and at affordable prices. That's Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors, 423-912-3186. Better call Kevin. Get a job done. That's been the motto of AM Electrical Services from day one. That's their goal when they answer your call. Panel and service upgrades. Troubleshooting and repair. Panel surge protection. LED lighting upgrades. Remodel electrical services. And 24-7 emergency services. With our reliable, professional, and experienced staff, we strive for excellence and satisfaction for all our customers. Call us anytime at 423-907-4251 or 423-494-4280. Then you too will know what we mean when we say, get a job done. Slow down and let Laura take you away. For a moment in time, let a gentle, soothing massage take you to another place. 
Massage therapy relieves stress, anxiety, and the everyday worries for a moment in time. Swedish massage, focused deep massage, sinus relief, facial massage, couples deep tissue massage, hot stone, and Swedish combo. We also offer spray tans at your welcome massage therapy in their new location next to Castleton's behind Pizza Hut. So call them today at 423-377-1124 to make an appointment and see what a difference a massage can make for you at your welcome massage therapy. You are watching David Graham's Sports Report. A quick update in case you didn't see it on our website. What website you may ask? 1450WLAF.com We have all the latest news, weather, and sports right there. Our soccer team and volleyball team won Tuesday night. The soccer team won at Carter 3-1. And our Lady Cougars volleyball team continues to impress as they beat the Lady Panthers of Powell down there at their place three straight sets. So, as we said, we'll catch up with the volleyball team when they play at home against Bearden on the 24th, which will be senior night. Our neighbors to the north, the Blue Devils of Jellico, won at Unica this past Friday, 44-34. So, things are looking up for the Blue Devils. Let's hope they can keep the good going up there. And they will travel to Lynn Camp now. They haven't had much success up there, but who knows? This is high school football, right? and anything can happen. Here's some other high school scores you may be interested in. Alcoa beat Pigeon Forge 52 to nothing. Cofield beat Oakdale 41 to nothing. Farragut beat Jefferson County 51 to 21. Gatlinburg Pittman beat Scott 28 to 7. Greenback beat Oliver Springs 28 to 18. Hardin Valley won over Morristown West 51 to 10. Harriman beat Sunbright 49 to 6. Knox Central beat Seymour 35 to nothing. Knox Fulton, oh my goodness, they beat Carnes 70 to 14. Knox Halls beat Knox Carter 37 to 7. Knox Webb beat Knox Grace 43 to 7. Meigs County beat Rockwood 46 to 6. Oak Ridge, they down Knox West in a very good ball game here 24 to 21. Oneida beat Cumberland Gap 26 to 7. Powell beat Clinton 35 to nothing. Sines Hill beat Bearden 28 to 21. Unicoi County beat Claiborne 42 to 13. And Union County beat Sullivan East 32 to 22. And now here's your standings in Class 1A Region 1. That's where Jellico is. Cloudlands in first place. Jellico's in second place. Hancock County's in third, and Unica is bringing up the rear in fourth. Now over in the bigger schools, 5A, Class 5A, Region 3 is where Camel County is. Fulton is in first place, Oak Ridge is in second, Powell's in third, Knox West is in fourth, your Cougars are in fifth, Clinton is in sixth, and Carnes is in seventh place. Save those precious memories to a high quality DVD today. Call Honeybee at WLAF right now at 423-437 1437 and let her save those memories you have on VHS tape to a DVD that will last beyond your lifetime for family members to enjoy for years to come. 423-437-1437 You're watching David Graham Sports Report. You are watching David Graham Sports Report. You're watching David Graham Sports Report. You're watching David Graham Sports Report. It was the rematch of the Battle of the Birds in middle school volleyball. This time it was at La Follette Middle School. If you recall, the Lady Owls won down at Jacksboro Middle School. The first time, well, the Lady Eagles repaid the favor, winning at La Follette Middle School. And it was 8th grade night at La Follette Middle School. First, the results, though. Game one, Lady Eagles took 25 to 15. Second game, it was Lady Eagles winning again in a hard-fought game, 25-22, and that was it. That would be the final night 11 players would play on the floor, as they were eighth graders, and that was their final home game at La Follette Middle School. But we want to recognize these young ladies who gave it their all for their team and each other: Trinity Mundy, Shelby Ellison, Cheyenne Davis, Marissa Bolton, Savannah Jones. Caitlin Osborne, Madison Johnson, who by the way is the daughter of Cougar great Chris Johnson, Olivia Marlowe, Halen Willis, 
Hannah Harness and Jonah Ellison. Congratulations, young ladies, and I know you'll make us proud as you move on to the high school level. Now, the Owls lost on a rainy Thursday night at to Horace Maynard at home in a hard-fought game. They had to play hard to beat the Owls 26-20. The Owls made them work. They keyed on Devin Jones all night, but they forgot about little number five, Jacob Head, and he, along with Camian Fernandez, the quarterback, had a good night in spite of slick conditions and the loss. There was about a 45-minute rain or lightning delay as it poured buckets, but that wasn't what caused the delay. It was lightning. Now, they played Huntsville at home, and we'll have that on the next sports report. Also, they play on the 25th, which is on a Tuesday night, and they will play William Blunt also at home, and we'll have the report on both those games for you. And don't forget, September 28th is a big showdown between Jacksboro Middle School. Speaking of the Eagles, the defending state champion Eagles, we can't say that because that's exactly who they are. They won big at Oneida last Thursday night by a score of 38 to 26 and will now wait to play the Owls at their place on the 28th. But as we said, the Owls have two games to take care of before the 28th. We finally got to check out the Campbell County United Soccer Team. That's a middle school soccer team. And they play at Ken Snartley Park. They took their 3-2 and two record to play the Lady Devils of Horace Maynard. And we're sad to report they lost big. As a matter of fact, we won't tell you the score. We will tell you, though, that Cheyenne Davis scored her lone goal to keep us from being shut out. Now, their schedule right now is a little bit messed up. But we do know they have two more home games left, October the 2nd and the 4th, and we'll try to get back up there for one of those to get some team photos and all of that. They are coached by Dusty Davis, Shauna Ivey, and Brenda Myers. On a positive note, though, our JV team, they won 3 to nothing, blanking the Lady Devils. Tired of your contractor giving you the runaround? Better call Kevin. Call Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors. The only running they do is to get the job done in time and at affordable prices. That's Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors, 423-912-3186. Better call Kevin. Slow down and let Laura take you away. For a moment in time, let a gentle, soothing massage take you to another place. Massage therapy relieves stress, anxiety, and the everyday worries for a moment in time. Sweetest massage, focused deep massage, sinus relief, facial massage, couples deep tissue massage, hot stone and Swedish combo. We also offer spray tans at your welcome massage therapy in their new location next to Castleton's behind Pizza Hut. So call them today at 423-377-1124 to make an appointment and see what a difference a massage can make for you at your welcome massage therapy. Get a job done. That's been the motto of AM Electrical Services from day one. That's their goal when they answer your call. Panel and service upgrades, troubleshooting and repair, panel surge protection, LED lighting upgrades, remodel electrical services, and 24-7 emergency services. With our reliable professional and experienced staff, we strive for excellence and satisfaction for all our customers. Call us anytime at 423-907-4251 or 423-494-4280. Then you too will know what we mean when we say, get a job done. Hey everyone, it's Laura from your Welcome Massage Therapy and you're watching David Graham's new sports report. Basketball is right around the corner and of course WLAF has all your coverage so keep in stay informed by visiting our website every day. That's 1450WLAF.com. The same holds true with the Camel County Youth Basketball League, which will start the second week in November, according to President Chris Smith, who is the president. I just, I just said that's a double negative. I'm sorry. But he's the president of the league this year, and he does a great job every year, I think. Now, they had their meeting Monday night at the rec center. Over 20 coaches signed up to coach a team this year. They discussed several things, such as a draft. And I kind of had a question. I said, well, what about the salary cap? You're going to have that? <laughs> but anyway, we have fun with Chris Smith. He's got a great sense of humor. And we wouldn't say such things if we didn't know him and didn't know he had a sense of humor. But anyway, 
Uh, they discussed a lot of different things. No, they did not discuss a salary cap. Chris told the coaches, though, he wants to make the league more competitive this year, and maybe a draft would help them reach that goal. He also said, depending on the numbers, they will play their games at East La Follette, West La Follette, you know where that is, the gym over there, and then the gym below the library. So they will have one more meeting, though, before practice begins. Now, if you didn't make it to the meeting Monday night, you can still sign up to coach a team by calling the Recreation Center at 423-562-9424. Write this number down. I want to say it again. Get your pen, paper, crayon, whatever. You ready? Okay. 423-562-9424. That's the Rec Center's number. Give them a call and they'll give you all the information you need. Now we have the elementary school basketball schedule in. Those games will start on September 25th, which is next Tuesday, right around the corner, folks. We don't have anything from the high schools yet or the middle schools, but keep it right here to David Graham's new sports report or WLAF.com, and we'll have all the news from high school, goes to middle school, and of course, you know, high school, we have the WLAF being entire sports network with Mr. Cha-Ching himself, Josh Parker. He's got you covered on the high school scene because he brings you practically every high school Cougars game live on the WLAF BNF Tire Sports Network. So nobody else can bring you live high school basketball like WLAF. Get a job done. That's been the motto of AM Electrical Services from day one. That's their goal when they answer your call. Panel and service upgrades, troubleshooting and repair, panel surge protection, LED lighting upgrades, remodel electrical services, and 24-7 emergency services. With our reliable, professional, and experienced staff, we strive for excellence and satisfaction for all our customers. Call us anytime at 423-907-4251 or 423-494-4280. Then you too will know what we mean when we say, get a job done. Tired of your contractor giving you the runaround? Better call Kevin. Call Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors. The only running they do is to get the job done in time and at affordable prices. That's Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors, 423-912-3186. Better call Kevin. Slow down and let Laura take you away. For a moment in time, let a gentle, soothing massage take you to another place. Massage therapy relieves stress, anxiety, and the everyday worries for a moment in time. Sweetest massage, focused deep massage, sinus relief, facial massage, couples deep tissue massage, hot stone and Swedish combo. We also offer spray tans at your welcome massage therapy in their new location next to Castleton's behind Pizza Hut. So call them today at 423-377-1124 to make an appointment and see what a difference a massage can make for you at your welcome massage therapy. The Campbell County Youth Football League will have you homie this Saturday against South Clinton. That all starts up at 5 p.m. Now, they played at Lake City last Saturday, and we're proud to report that our JV Hoppers remain undefeated as they beat the Lakers, but our Hoppers and Cutters lost in very close ball games, according to Michael Robbins, who is the vice president of the league. He tells the sports report that these games were very competitive, and with a couple of bounces of the ball, a couple of ways here and there, we, they could have very easily won those games as well. But we want to tell you too, their homecoming, it won't be this Saturday. It will be September the 29th when they will host Clinton. But of course, they always plan their homecoming earlier in the day and they get that out of the way. And I'm also going to be over there to take team pictures. Uh, they had a problem with the photographers and all this stuff and I told them I'd do it for them. And we're going to go over there and we're going to do their team photos for them. Okay, tell the camera your first name. Bryson. Hey Bryson, 
Besides girl kissing, what's your favorite sport? Soccer. You didn't get it, did you? I said besides girl kissing. Do you kiss girls? No. All right. Thank you, Bryson. We're rolling. Hey, guys. How y'all doing today? Dad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen to me. What's y'all's favorite sport? Soccer. Soccer. Did you say girl kissing? Yeah. All right. Oh, Are you just having fun? Yeah. Alright, we got a jumper here. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. No! No! No, 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 no. Ah. Buddy, uh, hey guys, how you doing today? Good. Good. You're looking to me like I owe you money. You do? Ah, I don't do you it. You owe me. Hey, uh, what y'all's favorite sport? Soccer! Soccer. Again, what kind of you soccer league? Oh. Look, guys. Absolutely nothing. That you just won your soccer game, did you not? Yes. Did you cheat? No. How did you win? Um, it was just a little or two. Okay, what is your favorite sport besides boy kissing? Soccer. 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 All right. Now, guys, this will be on Thursday night at 7:30. Hi there. What is your first name? Hey, and what's your favorite sport? Okay, thank you. Let's go. They're having a blast in the Camel County Youth Soccer League. Around 300 boys and girls wake up early Saturday morning and enjoy soccer. So why not go on up this Saturday and check them out? It all starts at 9 a.m. at Ken Snardley Park, and that's behind La Follette Elementary School. You know where it's at. It's going up there. The Elementary School Basketball Jamboree will kick off this Saturday at La Follette Middle School. It will start at 8.30 and it will run to 12.30 p.m. according to uh, what me and Dwayne Wilder used to call him, Ken Dreamweaver. But anyway, he's a great guy and we really appreciate the info. We won't be able to make it up there to La Follette Middle School to cover any of these little babies because this Saturday we are your host once again for the LA Cruisers Car Show which will be at Campbell County High School. So come on up, we'll be there from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Come on up and say hello. To your favorite sports guy or maybe i'm not your favorite sports guy but come up and say hello anyway we would love to see you at this year's la cruisers car show and folks i want to tell you a little bit about the la cruisers car show while i'm at it they do a lot for the kids around the christmas time and that's why they have these car shows to raise money to be able to help our kids right here at home and they do an outstanding job I love every one of these guys and gals for what they do for our area children. You're watching David Graham's new sports report. Hello, baby. You're watching David Graham's new sports report. Wait a minute, look at me. Look at the camera. What's your first name? James, you have James, can you, uh, can you say you're watching David Graham's new sports report? You're watching David Graham's new sports report. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Hey, David Graham's new sports report brought to you by AM Electrical Services, LLC. Southern Contractors, your welcome massage therapy, Honey Bee Video Transfer, now, if you would like to advertise on the new sports report, shoot me a text at 423-912-2005. That's 423-912-2005. It's very affordable, and I do get right back to you. And if you're a small company out there just starting out, and you want to get promoted, shoot me that text, and we'll get right on it. Slow down, and let Laura take you away. For a moment in time, let a gentle, soothing massage take you to another place. Massage therapy relieves stress, anxiety, and the everyday worries for a moment in time. Sweetest massage, focused deep massage, sinus relief, facial massage, couples deep tissue massage, hot stone and Swedish combo. We also offer spray tans at your welcome massage therapy in their new location next to Castleton's behind Pizza Hut. So call them today at 423-377-1124 to make an appointment and see what a difference a massage can make for you at your welcome massage therapy. Tired of your contractor giving you the runaround? Better call Kevin. Call Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors. 
The only running they do is to get the job done in time and at affordable prices. That's Kevin Ward at Southern Contractors, 423-912-3186. Better call Kevin. Get a job done. That's been the motto of AM Electrical Services from day one. That's their goal when they answer your call. Panel and service upgrades, troubleshooting and repair, panel surge protection, LED lighting upgrades, remodel electrical services, and 24-7 emergency services. With our reliable professional and experienced staff, we strive for excellence and satisfaction for all our customers. Call us anytime at 423-907-4251 or 423-494-4280. Then you too will know what we mean when we say, get a job done. All right, that's all I've got for you today. We want to thank everybody for being with us. The new sports report is brought to you by AM Electrical Services, LLC, Southern Contractors, your welcome massage therapy in their new location behind Pizza Hut in that shopping center back there, and Honey Bee Video Transfer. And we want to remind you, too, if you would like to advertise on the sports report, you know, when you, when you advertise on the sports report, you're also supporting our area youth and if you would like to advertise just shoot me a text at 423-912-2005 all right we'll see you in here next week good lord willing you have a blessed weekend and we'll see you next week bye-bye